Hello guys. In this video, we are going to look at Stephen Crane's The Open Boat. Come let's get into the video. While looking into the background of the novel, it is the real life experience of Crane. On the 31st of December 1896, Crane sailed as a correspondent. On January 2nd morning ship sank. Crane and three crews spent 30 hours in the dinghy. They reached Dayton a beach characters in the novel correspondent a reporter and the central character of the story. Captain is the captain of the ship, injured when the ship floods. Cook is the ship's cook, who maintains a positive outlook. Euler an only refugee who dies in the final attempt at reaching land. Let's look at the plot. The ship sank overnight, four men are the survivors. Four men in a dinghy between open sea and surf. They do not have a moment's peace. The ocean so rough and one impolite move would upset the dinghy. Despite not slept for two days, each man works tirelessly to keep the boat afloat. Correspondent and oiler, work of rowing. Cook, emptying water from the boat. Captain, gives direction, gets injured in the shipwreck and so sits in the bow. Remembers the dead faces of the crews in water. In the morning the cook and correspondent argue about being rescued. They row silently and begin to make progress towards the sea. Gulls fly overhead, settles on the captain's head. The captain cannot hit the bird off because a slight move would damage the boat. Captain sees a lighthouse at the distance, the first sign of hope. Cook says that the life-saving station has been abandoned for more than a year. The first sign of hope evaporates when approaching land unable to master the confused waves. Captain sees a man on the shore, another sign of hope. Each of them looked for signs of hope in the man's gestures. They think the man sees them, two men are there, a crowd is there. Stubbornly believe they are reaching the shore. During night men forget about being saved and concentrate on rowing the boat. Correspondent and oiler get tired and plan to alternate the work throughout the night. For the most part the correspondent rows alone. In the next morning, Captain suggests to run the surf while they have enough energy. Take the boat shoreward. Boat capsizes. Euler leads, correspondent and cook swim slowly, Captain holds the keel of the capsized boat. Waves hurl the correspondent, saved by the man they saw in the shore. Captain and the cook saved. But the Euler died. With this, I shall wind up today's session. Thank you.